Hope everyone's doing well, staying positive. Another video for the new year. Here we're going to be installing the concrete footing for our concrete retaining wall. One of the first things we want to establish is a reference point, which is marked here on the wall by the GC. And we just want to double check it in the field, make sure everything lines up before we get going. Be sure to stick around to the end of the video. You'll be able to see the actual retaining wall footing as well as the rebar prior to us pouring. While you're down there, be sure to like our video, leave a comment, it'd be greatly appreciated. This wall is about 130 feet long by 5 feet high. It takes a lot of experience and teamwork to get the outcome the client expects. The footing for the wall was approximately 4.5 feet wide by 18 inches thick. The keyway was 3 feet deep by 1 foot wide. Quick note, you want to make sure that your contractor or whoever's doing the excavation use a true to size bucket. I believe they use a 16 inch bucket here. It was supposed to be a 12 inch bucket. It's construction, so things like this happen. In the end, I think we ended up getting a couple extra yards of concrete. With all our footage, we like to frame the front of it. One, it's nice and neat. Two, it allows us to minimize the waste of concrete. Also, it gives us the exact measurement to the face of the wall. You may notice those two red lines. One, the first one, I'm sorry, is the face of the wall. Then there's an the eight inch separation. Then there's the back of the wall. Here we're using a Makita rotor hammer to pre-drill for some stakes since the dirt was pretty hard. The stakes help secure the two by 12s when we pour and vibrate the concrete. So when we set up our footing, we also set up the first board for the back of the wall. And that's what this bracing is for. Now it's very important to make sure each one is leveled and plumb. Now you can check out the link above or below to get a detailed look of how we go about framing the back of a concrete retaining wall. Alright, so here we are installing the first board for the back of the retaining wall. Now since we know this board is level and plumb, the next day we can just worry about stacking the boards on top of each other, just like Legos when we were little. So in the comment below, leave your favorite Lego set, and while you're down there, be sure to like the video. Greatly appreciate it. Again, this retaining wall is about 130 feet long, 5 feet high. The footing itself is about 4.5 feet wide, 18 inches thick, and the keyway is 3 feet deep by 1 foot wide. I'm going to use number 5 rebar for the footing about 12 inches on center. It's gonna be a double mat rebar as you can see here. Check out the link above or below of us installing rebar for a concrete retaining wall. Definitely appreciate you guys' time. This is going to be the first of maybe three videos for this project. If you're in the Sacramento Bay Area, hit us up. The link is below. And as always, stay positive and remember it's cool to ask for help. Make it a good one.